Okay, this video is showing Leave Planner from an employee's perspective. So looking at um, some of the features in a little bit more detail that are available to, to an employee level user. Um, I think it's important to see what uh, the majority of users who will be uh, employee level, um, sort of things they can do, sort of things for, uh, that they can't do as well, sort of things they don't have access to, information they can't see. Um, so logging in again from any internet enabled device uh, just as uh, this person Fiona into the system. Uh, it takes me to the central hub of Leave Planner so everything that I would want to do, uh, everything that I'm able to do as an employee is here. Um, I can view the calendar and have a look at um, leave events across the company and see who's booked absence and, and booked leave. I can look at my information in more detail through the uh, my summary page that shows me how much allowance I have for this year, um, how many days I've taken, how much I've got remaining, how much sick leave I've taken and so on. Uh, I can make minor changes in, in my settings to perhaps changing my password or creating particular calendar views and we'll, we'll, we'll look at those in detail a little bit later. Um, I can obviously make my requests for a holiday, um, not so much make a request for sick leave um, but I can book, I can track those uh, sick leave days that, 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 I've, that I've taken. Uh, an absence, I can make my absence requests. An absence, remember, are um, things like doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, things that, that people don't necessarily have an allowance for. And finally, just here on the request other um, uh, icon, request other is for requesting leave types that my systems administrator has created uh, for the company. So things like training days, um, uh, maternity leave or time off in lieu and so on. 